Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your boy, Purple Slushy, coming back with another video. Now, I know it's been a minute. I went on vacation for a week to North Carolina. My best friend had his wedding. Also, I've just been kind of taking a break since vacation. I've been getting back in the swing of things. When I left, there were they were adding some new stuff. There was AOS, but since then, they've added Thornwood, updated Thornwood, updated Tauros. They've added new Mediazone, new Telescope. Literally so much stuff, and I'm a little bit oversensitized and a little overwhelmed with how much they've added. So today's video is just going to be like a video about basically what I've done to help myself grind better because I did have surgery recently on my wrist and my elbow and my wrist hurts a lot if I play for more than like 30 minutes with keyboard and mouse. So I thought that I would take the time to learn how to use controller while playing Black Desert on PC. And it's one of the best things that I ever taught myself. Now, I still use keyboard and mouse for PvP because it is just superior. But when it comes to just grinding, chilling out, relaxing, got your feet up on your desk, lean back in your chair, maximum efficiency grinding. It's all about the controller. So today's guide, we're going to learn how to use controller together. Getting started, what you want to do is you want to hit that escape button, go down to the settings, open up your settings, go to interface settings, gamepad, and you will see two toggles that you're going to want to turn on. You want to use use gamepad and you also want to toggle on use gamepad UI. Now, I am using a Astro C40 controller that is basically laid out like a PS4 controller. So when I talk, I'll be saying like, I'm gonna press square or triangle or circle or X. So I'm just, I'm just relating to PlayStation controls because that's what I'm used to. But Xbox controllers work just as well. If you're on PC, most likely just use an Xbox controller. It's really hard to set up P PS4 controllers. But with that being said, once you have used gamepad UI, toggled go ahead and hit that apply button and we will be swapped into the world of controllers now it might seem a little bit weird at first it's really really hard to get used to because all of the buttons and keybinds are different but stick with me and you will be an expert by the end of this video so first things first I'm now just walking around with my controller. And you'll notice that if you try to use your keyboard and mouse, you can like move around, but you can't really do any attacks. Like nothing works for the most part with your uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, you can't uh, V, you can't really do anything. Everything that you're gonna be doing is from your keyboard or is from your mouse. When you're going through menus and stuff, you're also gonna be using your uh, controller, but there's a couple things where you still will use your keyboard and mouse for. So getting started, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up um, our UI and everything. So you might have noticed I had a lot more skills on my whole uh, window or my whole screen before I put it into gamepad mode. Now. The reason is, is, if I go back to the old menu and I open up my UI, which let me go ahead and do that old menu. If we go into the UI, now I'm using my keyboard and mouse for this UI. You'll notice we have all these quick slots. Quick slots cannot be seen when you're in controller mode or gamepad UI. So the only skills that you can have on your screen are going to be your cooldown slots one through 10, which are going to be these main skills that you're gonna add into your quick slots from your skill menu. So make sure your most used skills are in your cooldown slots. With that being said, you also have what is called your ring menus. Now I can't use my mouse and show you the ring menus at the bottom, so you're gonna kinda have to work with me here. So we're gonna start with the far left menu, which is left on the D-pad. If I press left on the D-pad, that's going to open up a custom ring menu with skills that I placed there. Now, it took me so long to figure out how to do this because there's no guides on how to use controller. And I was so frustrated and infuriated because I had no idea how to use anything. And it took me like three or four days to figure out everything on my own. So you have that custom menu. You have right on the D-pad for your other custom menu. Up on the D-pad is going to be one of the main menus, and this is gonna be like your pearl shop, your inventory, your party settings, your knowledge, your mail, things like that. Down on the D-pad is going to open up your black spirit, and you use LB and RB to cycle through the menus. 
LT plus left on the D-pad is going to open up another menu that is going to have like voice chat, guild, guild mount list, friends. LT plus right will flag you for PVP or unflag you. LT plus up will open up like your mount, your pet, your worker list, your maids, your dyes, your processing windows, finding your boat, things like that. LT plus down is going to open up your quests. Now, like you can still hit L to open up processing or J to open up your die and escape and use your mouse and open up the pearl shop or the crafting menu and things like that. So your keyboard and mouse is still going to be very beneficial to you. But a lot of things that you're going to be doing with being in controller is going to revolve around you using uh, your controller for a lot of things. So how do we set up our ring menu? So you'll, you might notice that I have these custom menus on the left-hand side here. Now these uh, are left on the D-pad and also right on the D-pad. Now to set up custom ring menus, you will go ahead and hit escape, go to the new menu. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna hit settings. From there, we're gonna go to ring menu setting. From here, we can go over to skill and we can add skills to our ring menu. So if we wanna add a skill, we'll hit X, and then we're gonna use our right joystick to move along the ring menu and select where we want to select that skill and place it. To cycle through the ring menus, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna hit LT or RT, and that's gonna cycle you through. So you'll notice on uh, this menu right here, I have uh, three skills that I use pretty often that are in my combo. And then also the next uh, custom menu, I have some other skills that I use pretty often. So if we go ahead and we look over here, you'll notice that I have this skill here. I also have this skill here, and then I have another skill that I need to add to it. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to settings, ring menu, and I need to add another skill that I messed up from here earlier, which is going to be plum. So we're gonna add plum. So we're gonna hit A, and we're going to add it to the top of the menu. So now, if you look at the bottom and you look at the far left ring menu, you'll notice that the slots that I have stuff in, they are white. So what does that mean? So that means that they are off cooldown. So whenever I use one of those skills, you'll notice that it turns to red. So that means that that skill is on cooldown. And I didn't know that at first. I had to learn that myself, but that is how, instead of having those quick slots on your screen, instead of having the quick slots that aren't there anymore because you're now in gamepad mode, you are able to see extra skills that you have placed in your ring menu, knowing when they're on and off cooldown by the color of the ring, uh, whether that is white or red. Now, you have some other things like rage absorption, emergency escape. How the hell did I get those in my ring menu? Great question, glad you asked. So we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go back over to ring menu. If you go over, rage absorption is there. That is how you can add that. Rage transfer is here as well. But if you go to social uh, menu, if you go to menu and you go down, you have different menu options that you can add. And one of those menu options is going to be, if I can find it here, emergency escape. And I added emergency escape to my right ring menu and then up. So all that I have to do is write on the ring menu up and I immediately go into emergency escape or V. So it's very simple to understand the ring menu and how it works. It definitely takes some time getting used to it. Now to lock your rage, Alt B, Alt B is how you lock it in gamepad and whether you're not in gamepad mode. And then let's say like we open up our inventory. If we open up our inventory like this, this is what your inventory looks like if you're in gamepad mode. The way that you cycle through it is you use your D-pad. Let's say I wanna uh, like pick a simple crown meal. I just hover over it or like this corrupt uh, corruption frenzy draw and I hit A or X and it's just gonna use it for me. Now I can cycle through the menus, like my Pearl Shop inventory, like this. I can also hit RT to go into the um, family inventory. Now with that being said, let's talk about the pet menu and feeding your pets. So I'm going to open up the pet menu, which I believe is, doo -doo -doo. 
Let's see here. Up on the D-pad, maybe? No, it is uh, LT plus up and then pets. Okay. So now to take out your whole group, what you're going to do is you're going to press the right joystick in. Sometimes this is hard to use, so give me a second here. <laughs> give me a second. I'm, I'm having trouble and I'm making a guide on it. So hold on a second. LT plus up pet menu. So you're going to uh, go down and select the pet group with uh, your right joystick. Once you select that pet group, you're gonna click in the right joystick and then that will select it. To feed the group, you hit X and then you hit A and then that feeds everything. So right joystick takes you through your different pet groups. Clicking in on that joystick will select that pet group. So if I wanna do group number one, select it, click in that right joystick, and now the pet menu is there. Again, to feed everything, you hit X or you hit square, and then you hit A, and then you're able to feed all of your pets. Now, you might be like, okay, well, that's cool, but how do I know what buttons make my skills do what? And that's a great question. And that's the fun part about controller, because now you have an experiment. I call this experiment, let's go to BA and figure out how to use our skills, because this is what you're gonna have to do. So you're gonna go, to your BA, you're gonna look for a BA, you're gonna go in there, while it's loading up, we can just sit here and just take a deep breath, <sighs> make sure you're ready to be very frustrated and infuriated when you're like, why can't I do this combo? Why do I keep free inning? And that's all right, because in life, sometimes we just need to vent. And once you vent, and then you get through it, you're like, let's go, we controller pro. But with that being said, we are now in the BA, and this is exactly how you figure out what to do for your combos. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna move around a little bit. All right. Now, how do we figure out what does what? Well, <laughs> let me tell you, you're gonna hit K, you're gonna look at your moves and you're gonna be like, ah, oh, okay, Pl prime flutter kick, LS up plus RT. Okay, so that means I must gotta do this. Okay, ah, oh, so that's how you do it. And then you're like, oh, what's another skill that I need to do? Wing beat, oh, it's just A after other skills. Okay, well then, okay, A after other skills. Well, how the hell do I dash then? So if I look here, how do I dash? So dash, LT, oh, it looks like LT plus A is to fly. Okay, so then do, would move what I do, okay. So it's just over an LT. Okay, so then, okay, so it looks like I just, use the stick, left stick, and then I hit L. Oh, okay, so that's how I iframe. So then wait, it said wing beat, I can do it after I do a skill, right? So then I can iframe and then hit A and then I should do wing beat, right? So iframe, wing beat, okay. Oh, wait, it only did the first hit. How do I do the second hit? Oh, maybe I hold it in. So, okay, hold it in. And that's literally what you do. That's literally what you do to figure out how to do your combo. So you start with the very first skill in your combo. So the way that I do it, if you look at where my mouse is, I do, um, I do this skill, then I do this skill, then I do, uh, I do this skill, then I do this skill, then I do this skill, then I do this skill and this skill, and then I do the three skills in my ring menu. So all together, everything looks like this. iframe around bop 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 and then my ring menu skills now i do lt plus rt for this one and then i do lt and lb for the other one and then that's it and then you keep cycling through your combos and once you figure this out and once you actually take like an hour or two and figure out okay this button does this this button does that this is how everything flows then you'll get into like the real like nitty gritty and feel a lot more comfortable. But just start out with like the first two skills from your combo. Then once you do that, add in the third skill from your combo. Once you get the third skill, then add in the fourth skill from your combo. And then over time, you flow everything together and you're like, okay, wait, I'm using controller now. I'm grinding with the controller, I really am. You know, and that's really all that there is to grinding. Now, grinding high APM classes in Black Desert will give you 
tendonitis and carpal tunnel over time. I can't stress how important it is to do your wrist stretches every hour after grinding. So many people take for granted having really good health, but once you once you have bad health and like you experience pain like I have with my wrists and playing computer games for so long, it's really, really, really important to take care of yourself, drink a lot of water, do your stretches. And honestly, when it comes to grinding, I make just as much trash as keyboard and mouse that I do with controller. It's literally no different. When it comes to PVP, yeah. In PVP, you're gonna wanna use keyboard and mouse. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Keyboard and mouse gives you the option to just animation cancel so much faster and animation cancel things that you can't animation cancel using uh, gamepad mode. And also just movement and the way that you can look around and everything is just so much easier to do with keyboard and mouse than controller. But when it comes to grinding, in my opinion, controller is just superior. You do not get any hand pain. Your hands do not cramp ever. And it's just super, super comfy and super, super cozy. Last but not least, if you open up your menu with A or with M, you can uh, put a cursor on the ground with, uh, I believe, uh, square maybe. I, I think since I'm in um, BA, it won't let me do it. but. On the right hand side it shows you all the different controls for your map um getting your mount uh being able to actually stack on your mount is pretty simple as well i guess i can get my mount out and show you how to do that this is going to be the last thing for the guide though i'm pretty sure i covered all of the basics now like i said it's going to be really frustrating and really infuriating your first hour or two on controller because you're not going to know any of the buttons you have to remember everything um by heart and it takes a while when you go to your grind spot you're going to fumble the bag a few times you're going to hit the wrong buttons you're going to fuck up but that's all part of the fun that's all part of the process don't let it get you too frustrated because everyone has to go through it that wants to learn so okay so here's my mount so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit y i'm just going to tap it and that will cycle me through the menu if i want to stack something i hold y to open the inventory i can stack like i i'll stack 50 of these black stones right okay so there's 50 black stones now on that mount so now what i do if i want to stack Let's say I'm grinding. Okay, I'm full my inventory weight again. I want to stack. So I'm going to cycle through the menu by tapping Y. Hold Y to open inventory. I'm going to go up to the top. I'm going to hit A on my item. Hit max quantity. Hit Y. That's going to transfer it to my inventory. Then I'm going to hit A on it. Hit Y. And that's going to transfer it back to my mount. And that's how you stack on your mount. It's very simple. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything. Uh, I still don't know how to drift on my mount using controller. I just auto path everywhere for the most part. So like if you hit M and then I think uh, navigate, how the hell do you, oh yeah, X, X, navigate. And then you just jump on your mount and then you just hit T. Oh wait, oh yeah, that's right. I still don't know how to auto path with uh, uh with controller. So if somebody knows how to auto path controller, that would be great because I always travel on my mount with my keyboard and mouse, and then I swap back. But that's literally everything that I know for controller. Um, it, now, like I said, it took me so long to learn all this stuff. So I hope that this guide can greatly help you guys out and help you to actually want to use controller and have fun doing so. With that being said. I'm going to be posting a guide for Thornwood soon on the other spots and I'm going to get back in the swing of things and I want to do some AOS montages so we'll see what we have for that. If you guys want to uh, reach out to me and just if you have any questions, I'm going to link my Discord in the description down below so feel free to join my Discord. But that's everything that I have for you guys for today. Once again, it's been your boy Per Pale Scusse! Until next time, like and subscribe, smash those buttons. Peace.